after that piece of serenity, I want to wake you all up quietly with a gradually increasing volume. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and greetings from Barbados. <laughs> I didn't want to jump you all, jump you out of that silent meditation just now. I know it is so beautiful and peaceful out here. It is an absolutely magnificent morning, regardless to the haze, regardless to the clouds, regardless to anything. It is an amazing blessing to be able to breathe in life this morning and I hope all of you all are enjoying it as well. It's beautiful over here in the West Coast the Island. I am sure that many of you have already determined where we are because there's so many landmarks down here. You don't need our expert Malcolm on board this morning to tell you where we are but if he's here I know he is guest. Good morning to every one of you all. It is a blessing to have you all here with me. Some may call me crazy. Thanks very much my brother chef. But you know crazy I am, you spent some time with me already my blood, so everything is good with you. <laughs> so good morning to you all again. Uh, before I even make a turn here, we're going to use this same photo up to say our serenity prayer because this place breathes serenity and peace. So let's do that now. For all of those like join me, please do so. Anyone else um, that prefer rather not to, I'll see you in a few moments time. God. Grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen. Now, I hope that Miss Care, you're keeping count today because I've already got one sim on the belt. And I hope you all saw me because I don't like to show off without a purpose. So I hope you all saw me. And just to let you know, um, I didn't perform freestyle or backstroke because I am Olympically trained. And as soon as I start to rotate my arms, I go into Olympic speed. So I didn't want to just flash across here like a bolt of lightning for you all this morning. So I took my calm and easy wade and came across the ocean. So I hope you saw that because um, I know you will never see me when I'm performing my actual swimming because I am so blistering fast. Good morning to each and every one of you. There's nothing that gives me more pleasure than waking up with you on the morning. And I, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Every time I get up in the morning, first of all, I thank God for the life, for the opportunity to come and share the beauty and hopefully some of his wisdom that I am learning every day and that I dedicate myself to learn more and more every day with you. So. I ask him for the knowledge, the wisdom, the strength and the help just to continue on the journey. And so far he's blessed me with all that and I'm meeting all of you all this morning. So thank you. You are truly my friends, my family and my loved ones. And friends are the ones that join this morning. You will turn into family and you most definitely turn into loved ones as everyone else on here has done. So good morning to all of you all. It's going to be a busy, busy, busy day in Barbados. But before I move off of this jetty, let me show you how beautiful this water is this morning. It is transparent, absolutely gorgeous. Stunning, stunning, stunning. And also before I move from here, introduce you to two locations in case there are any surfing people on board. Uh, there's a right that comes off at this point. I used to call it the Sand Ridge right. That'll tell you how often I surfed it, but I was corrected and told it's called the Fort. So I'm going to use it as a more popular name and obviously the name that majority guides from down here know it as that's the fort. That's where you're seeing the very small swells now. All those rafts would have to move when there's a big north swell. If not, they will get dislodged for sure. 
Now the place, one of the places in the West Coast I learned to surf was directly here. It's called Bird's Cove Left. This left here off this jetty terrified me the first time I came down here. It is shallow. Although it is a short wall, it is fast and it's hollow, hollow, hollow. Just, and it was a big swell, I must say, when I was first brought down here. Kudos to Ashley and Trot for getting me in the water. Beautiful, beautiful morning here. Lots of cloud, but I think most of this is dust. I haven't felt any droplets or anything at the moment. It seems to be just a lot of Sahara dust and stuff in the air. Um, you're seeing there's hardly any blue anywhere. A couple little patches here and there peeping out. But most of the sky this morning, overcast and grayish. Temperature right now, um, I'm not sure, but it feels like around 27 or 28 maybe. Um, however, it, the air is light down here. Smells fresh. I'm not scenting anything that's um, not sending any dust in the air. So it's obviously in the higher elevations um, that's blocking our vision for the blue sky. But right now, on the surface side of it, it seems to be fairly light at the moment. You can see visibility way out to the horizon, not limited today in any form or fashion. So the actual haze on land level is looking extremely low. You can see the Arawak cement plant clearly from here. And I can call it Arawak cement plant because I'm not going through all your name changes. That's what it was and that's what I'm going to refer to it as. <laughs> Directly in front of us, Cobra School Hotel. I like to mention her all the time because this is where uh, my sister loves. Um, her and her husband were down here a little while ago, took a little reprieve in Barbados. That was before COVID and this is where they stayed. I also have um, two of my family members on here I call Cuz and Blood. They also know what here is like. Absolutely peaceful and serene. All right, let's make our way up. To get to this beach, little small public thoroughfare just before you get to Cobbler's Cove, directly before their wall. Just be careful when you're coming on there because it is a thoroughfare that's used by the guys that put their boats in the water and stuff. So traffic out there can be really heavy on the morning. Good morning, gentlemen. Would you all like to wave off to the world this morning? Say hello to everybody. These are, these are folks from all over the world. They're doing just like you and giving thanks and you know, thank you for the opportunities and things for life. Have a great day, okay, fellas? All right, man, thank you. I didn't know this gentleman here. I've seen him every time I've done a vlog down here because he usually starts his morning right here on the jetty. So I always like to speak to him. We all have had some good conversations in the past. And I'd like to make sure and spread the love and share as I always do. All right, we have a few manchineels on the beach today, a few manchineel berries. No, these are not apples. No, these do not taste good. And no, you should not touch them or put them near your mouth. Absolutely not. Definitely not. These are from the manchineel tree, which is known as the most dangerous tree in the world. I asked a few times, why do they not take them down? It's because they're mangrove style trees and they actually do very well in the sandy and salty conditions unless they're completely dislodged from soil or sand, um, they will survive. Even if they lean right down on the ground almost, they will still survive. Manchineel is somewhere, you, a tree you do not want to go under and shelter when it's raining. You can see the amount of them that are here that have washed up the high tide last night. That'll give you an indication of where the tide levels were. You can also see the beach here clean and swept by the ocean itself. Natural cleaning process. Little fish market down in here. Uh, this is where a lot of guys will hang out in the day and play some dominoes and just chill out. So if you are in this area, come over and say hi to them because I know they would like to say good morning to you for sure. The guys down here, very peaceful, very kind, very caring. You will see the two boys here, one on the left of the center and one on the right of the center. Um, this is the section which means that this area is used by power craft to come in and out. So you don't want to be actually swimming in this area here. If you see any vessels coming, you have to get out of the water and give them your right away because this is their right away. So jet skis should only come in in between these poles or any power craft as well. It's a beautiful morning. As you can see, as I try to do whenever I can, I like to leave our mark wherever we are because the more people we can get to join us on the EMC, the more people experience love, care, kindness and hope. Folks bringing on boats this morning to get them out in the water. Just a beautiful day. I'll just give you a quick peep up the gap here, let you see what you'll encounter. Uh, do not panic by all the scratches on the wall. Remember, a lot of big boats come down in here, um, so they would rake on occasions. It doesn't mean they have a lot of crazy drivers in Barbados. I mean, you know that already, so I don't have to reaffirm that by showing you scratches on the wall. But that is the entrance that comes down in here. You will probably not even realize it's there. Um, as I said before, it is just to the Bridgetown side of Cobbers Cove. Cobbers Cove walls are on your left, so you will know when you get to that property, it's time to turn down in here, whichever side you're coming from. Oh boy. Okay, 
So we've already discussed, and I have given in, grape trees, sea grape trees are beautiful, especially when they're made into hedge. Their actual berries are lovely. When they're green, they're lovely. When they turn to their other colors, they are gorgeous. But the tasting, terrible, 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 terrible. And I'm not going to take that back. So anyone who doesn't like that, sorry. <laughs> you can see we have a few crabs and stuff just rolling around. This is just nature at its absolute best. No one here, extremely quiet, very peaceful, very serene. I feel a couple of sprinkles and guess what? I don't have my rain gear today. So we may have to do a little sheltering if necessary under some kind of overhang or something. This walkway here has been built because originally this was all beach, beach way out. However, we all know what's been going on over the years. We talk about it all the time, but for those that are newcomers here, we are having a lot of sea erosion on the coastlines of Barbados. I guess all over the world is experiencing it. It's not just something that is um, in Barbados only, but what the government and what a lot of the property owners are doing, especially in the West Coast, are constructing walking areas that you can get thoroughfare from one section to the other. And this is just one of those areas. Boulders dropped a long time ago. A lot of little rocks dropped on the inside. And then sand has been filling itself as tide brings it in. It washes itself up in here and settles. So it's becoming more and more like a beach look now with the outer wall on it. Now, if my conductor is on board, he said he was going on vacation, but I know he's going to look at this later on. So, Mr. Conductor, you're nosy, sir. Here we go. I really can't think of anywhere that would be more beautiful to sit and watch the ocean this morning. Actually, I could think of everywhere else on the coastline that would be just as beautiful and just as calming and just as peaceful, just as serene and just as beautiful. But this is a really nice spot to sit. I mean, I wouldn't, wouldn't tell you, like, it'd be nice to sit here and relax with a cup of coffee and maybe an early morning fruit breakfast or something. Just beautiful. All right, so we're keeping count on the swimming today. I have had one already. You haven't had any yet, but that word yet, remember that it's going to change in a few seconds time. We're going to take multiple swims this morning. And that's because uh, I don't know when we'll come back to the ocean. I don't know if we will get back in the ocean this week. I have no clue. I don't try and dictate what's going on. I pray to God to give me some guidance. Then I look at the weather elements and stuff that surround us and then determine what we will actually do. A couple of little sprinkles, nothing threatening for the equipment as yet. So we're going to take our first official swim together. My second, just want to rub it in a little bit to you. <laughs> so, <laughs> this area is being set up so that the guests at this hotel have a little shelter in from the outer swell that can come through on many occasions out here. It's open on both sides and it will also gather a little bit of sand as I'm seeing in front of these boulders as well. But remember, it is coming into summer. Summertime, we get the bigger beaches in Barbados for sure. Much better conditions. They're usually a lot calmer, less as a, a hurricane or a tropical system that's passing the island. So I'm going to take our first 360 spin from here. Enjoy this beautiful serenity. Enjoy the reflections of life because everything here is coming from a positive reflection. The glows, the reflections, everything else. Here we go. I would say that the water temperature is exactly like the air temperature. There's no difference. As my body comes out of the water um, and is exposed to the wind and the elements out above, it um, feels identical, same thing. And it's absolutely perfect this morning. Perfect, perfect water temperature. As I said before, the air, oh yeah, sea breeze for sure. Lovely, lovely morning. I hate to tease you all like this. All right, this channel is built on honesty and integrity. So let me rephrase that. I love to tease you all. <laughs> Good morning to, again to those newcomers that have just come on board. You're joining us in the beautiful, beautiful parish of St. Peter. We're just on the outskirts of Spikestone. We're in front of Cobbler's Cove Hotel. So if you're looking for somewhere to stay in this immediate area, you can do so. 
Um, we used to be able to walk right around here in large beaches before. Um, that has changed over time. Many of you will remember playing beach cricket just down on the beach down here in front of Schooner Bay area. We're going to be going in that general direction. Rain is a little bit heavier now. Um, however, I, I'm not going to complain about it. If I have to shut down the camera today and say goodbye to you all early, I am quite happy to do so because these showers of blessings are exactly that, showers of blessings. Now let me see if I can be a little more nosy here for Mr. Conductor. Uh, hopefully everybody will be peaceful when they just come up on these steps and not actually step in the property. But as you can see, luxury to the high end. This is a very impressive hotel. It has always been known for being an amazing hotel. The penthouse suite in the top has what I call a tidal pool, which means you can swim in one area for long periods of time and go nowhere. So you can get all your exercise and stuff if you'd like up there. And the rooms, I know, I don't know if it's changed, but I do know the last time we went into a penthouse here, it was mirrored right around the wall, 360 degrees of mirror. It really is a beautiful morning. The little bit of a little bit of sprinkles that I'm getting on me, cooling, lovely effect. And as I said, they are blessed, and I feel like I'm being touched by heaven this morning. Beautiful morning. Gabelin, you'll see a lot of this here on the coastline. Oh, you'll also see a lot of this on the coastline as well. Just to let you know. Wait, hold on a minute. That guy has got to be a master scraper. That is so perfectly done. If I see him, I'm going to congratulate him later on today. So let's move on. <laughs> Gabelin, as I said, becoming very popular on the west coast, the island. Um, trying to protect the properties itself. You see a lot of these. However, as you can appreciate, these are made of wire. Although most of it is soft wire, so it can bend easy and flex easy. Um, there is wire, so just be careful when you're walking on the coastline because there are some that break down and the wire is barely, barely under the surface of the soil so or on the sand, so you could easily find yourself in some serious trouble. Another little nosy, Mr. Conductor. Another little nosy. So you took a vacation, and we're gonna do a lot of nosy in. So if you don't watch this, tough for you. I will let you know what you're missing when you come back. Just a beautiful morning. Look at these doggies up. Happy enough. Good morning. How are you today? Good there. They look so happy. Yeah, they are. Wonderful. I I yes, beautiful. You are you're, you're live here on the island or? Yeah. Lovely. You're enjoying it? Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, nice. Well, welcome. And you're yeah. definitely a full-time Beijing now, or part-time Beijing for sure. <laughs> I hope so. And anyway, you have a great day, okay? Thanks again for talking to the world. Everyone saying hi to you this morning. Thank you. Just a lovely, lovely morning. This place here is called Whispering Breeze. We've actually... Wait, is this one or the next one? I'm not too sure. It could be the next one. It's the next one, sorry. Uh, we did a couple of weddings there. None of these places are actually identified from the, from the beach side as to what the villa is. I was looking for the name of this one here, but it's beautiful down here. Done quite a few weddings in this area. Um, just absolutely lovely. Haha, <laughs> boy, Mr. Conductor. Everybody gonna laugh at you, man, because this is your day for nosy with me. But I know you're gonna watch it later on. There's one thing I have to say about him. No matter where he goes, vacation, no matter what, he's gonna come on and have a look at this later. So. If you all say good morning, Mr. Conductor, he will most definitely sit later on. And I know it will bring a smile to his face and most definitely warmth to his heart. The conditions down here today, glassed off. Absolutely perfect. I mean, look at this Moses just tied off here in the water. All the glows off it coming off, all the reflections. Just stunning this morning. It's really turning into a beautiful day. For those on the island, don't be fooled by the haze and think you're not getting a burn because you're going to most definitely get a tan as well. Maybe not as aggressive a tan, but it's nicer that way sometimes. It gives you a nice basin for when the sun does start ready to come on and blast on you. Yeah, I told you we're going to need to keep count today because today is swimming day. Best way to start back after a day off. One more time. We're going to do this in silence for you. Lots of lots of beautiful scenery to take in here we go do it real nice and slow and i'm gonna try and do it in silence try my best
some people say that their favorite part of a vlog is his silent mode. And I know it's not because of his silence, it's because they want to see if I'll actually make it. They want to see if I'll stand up to challenge because I know everyone loves to hear me talk. I'm sure of that. I love to hear myself talk, so that, that is the most important thing, I think. <laughs> I'm having a good time today. As you see, I'm high in spirit. Today is Thursday. It's a big day in Barbados. I mean, a big day. We have Q in the community at the Freedom Village in St. Thomas. Please have a look at uh, my Facebook page if you're on the island. See where it is and come and join me this afternoon. I will be there. God sparing life, of course. I will be there for sure. I will not be missing this queue. I have a lot of queue family um, that I'm looking forward to meeting. I have not seen many of them. Like last night I went to the Flash Zone Bar. Um, it was a little bit quiet when I left. So I'm hoping that today will be great. And keep your eyes out. You never know. I may do a freestyle from up there. Let you see what it's like with that kind of culture and that kind of location. It is a beautiful, beautiful location full of history, steeped in history. Freedom Village, first Freedom Village. Absolutely lovely. We also have Mr. Impact at the Worthy Food Court. I can't forget him because let me tell you, I've been to his, to his performance quite a few times there. I actually love it. I usually take a piece of Q, then take a piece of Mr. Impact. Don't know if I'll get to Mr. Impact today, but if you are in the South or you're anywhere in the island, or you're not in the mood to come over to Q, please, please, please go to for, uh, Worthy Food Court. Or I hope that's the name of it. So the location is in Worthy. And it is a food court, so I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> so, beautiful villas, everyone taking their privacy seriously. You can just imagine how expensive the railing is here of this alone. You know, everybody would know that sea water and sea spray and these type of elements on a beach just uh, absolutely destroys metals. Not when you buy the right metal in the very beginning though. Just beautiful beautiful home now I know that my sister from the east she said she had played cricket here many years ago so I know that she remembers down here extremely well actually she seems to play beach cricket everywhere I don't know if she was a spectator and feels that just being you're a spectator you're actually playing cricket but I'll leave that up to her to explain I know for sure she's not let me get away with that comment is this not just stunning I mean absolutely beautiful look I'm gonna give you all a 180 but to give you all a real nice 180 I walk back up to this wall and I'm going to do it silently as well because I am feeling in a wonderful mood today and I want to share a little piece of silence, peace and serenity with you. So enjoy. If you are not feeling the peace and serenity right now, I don't know what really to tell you. All I can say is that you need more of this here than you think you realize, or that you realize, because you find peace and serenity with us. I, I know that for sure, because I've heard so many stories. You know, I was relaying some stories I said, you know, that everywhere I go and every new member that I come in contact with has some beautiful story and inspiring story to tell. I love to speak to people and hear um, what they have found and found and brought to this group because every individual person has left an impression on the family that joins us on a morning and on the EMC. That is for sure. It is not a me. It is a we set up. It is our, our gathering, gathering of friends, family and loved ones. Cheese on bread, I'm back and you see you again. Oh my goodness. I haven't even gone 50 yards. <laughs> Maybe I just want to show you some landside properties from here. We could do that as well too. Anything to get any water this morning. I need no excuse, but I'm going to make sure and have one or two of them in store. Aren't these properties just spectacular? I see this lady come this way. So I am going to give her one of our cards. I actually missed the opportunity just now, but not this time around. There's a reason for her to walk in this direction. Maybe she lives down here. Maybe that's the reason, but don't mind. <laughs> I'm going to still take advantage of it. So I'm not going to put in much sales pitch this morning. I'm just going to go up, give the card and ask her to have a look and see what we do. Um, so don't worry. I'm not going to go into my selling mode or anything this morning. Good there. Just beautiful. 
Morning, I have told my family I would like to give you one of our cards that you can follow yourself. You are the movie star today of our show. So, <laughs> that no, you look fine, absolutely fine. You're looking great in peace and relaxed. Have a great day, okay? Take care, bye bye. But you see, I, I know I have that excuse, I don't worry about combing my hair at all. The only thing is, if the hair dryer is giving trouble, it could be a little delayed for the next function, but that's how it goes. All right, so in case you're not sure what this is, I know most of you are, and I'm probably just talking to everyone that knows about these, but these are fish pots. And what the fishermen do is actually drop these on the reefs around the island. Um, they have little funnels that come into them. I'll give you a, a little indication of that right now in case you've never seen it before. This one has some work to be done on it because it seems all um, corroded and no. But these are the types of funnels here. I hope it's being caught. Um, fish will come in to this, swim into the wire, up into the top because they usually have bait on the inside and then go in for the bait. However, they don't know the hole to get back out. It's not as easy. The beautiful thing about fish pots versus nets is a net you have to haul or dive every day. If not, the fish will rot in it because they die because um, they can't swim and they'll rot in it. However, the fish pot you can actually put down for long periods of time because the fish will go in there and they'll eat off the plantain and stuff that's on the reef and all the different um, types of, um, I don't know, I'm not sure exactly what it is they eat, but they can breathe freely and they can swim freely. Um, so they will survive for a period of days. You don't have to actually haul them every day. A lot of fellas do if it's a very active area, um, but a lot of times you'll find them down for a couple of days. I know that we have some friends and family that, and loved ones that stay at Schooner Bay, actually have condos there. Um, one of my friends the other day said they went to a gentleman's property or in England that actually owns one of these villas and introduced his 60 plus inch TV to one of our vlogs of Schooner Bay so that the person could actually get a demonstration of how the TV worked and stuff. And I understand that he was quite impressed um, with what he saw. So that is wonderful news. It's nice that people can use these vlogs to show off Barbados to their friends and family, places they may have been but never got a video of it. So it is a real nice feature to have and it's lovely to be able to share all of this here with everyone. I'm hoping, you know, I'm optimistic and I'm not worrying about it. If it happens, it happens. Um, but I am hoping that one day the EMC will be recognized as the morning show of Barbados. That if you want to see Barbados as it is on the morning, you come on to the EMC and gather with our family. I know one thing for sure is if you come here to see Barbados, you're going to leave here a lot of friends and love and family. That's for sure. We're not going to go too much longer um, because I don't really want to push too much time on the vlogs. I just want to show you some sections of Barbados. So we will continue our walk next time. Or well, not next time, but the next time that we visit here We'll continue one of our walk from this section and go northward. What I would like to show you is the strapping that's going on here to try and save these trees. Now when we came on here earlier in this month, there was no sand around the base of these trees really at all. They were all root structures. So you can see that it is building back now it's come summer. You will also remember the cannons and stuff that you see on the point there. Because that, that land actually went out considerably further. And they had a cannon on it that has all gone now so the erosion is just eating out the weaker matter leaving the coral stone as you can see on the ground there it looks something like a groin but that's actually naturally formed just to give you a quick brief scan of schooner bay before we go Beautiful, beautiful upmarket facility. Absolutely beautiful and breathtaking. So folks, I hope you've had an enjoyable day with me. I want to swim with you all more because to tell you the truth, I was going to go around the corner, but I think we've had a beautiful vlog right now. And I think we can leave that beauty for another day. Not only that, it sort of like teases you. If you're in Barbados, maybe you will come and want to do this walk yourself. So as you can see, I'm pretty saga boy today. I have on my cards and stuff in my hat. That's how I do. Oh, she's on bed. It's my $10 bill dropped out of my pocket. Can't lose that. That's my lure. That's how I get people to come and talk to me. <laughs> they see money and say, well, that guy got to be rich. Because he's showing a flash in money. So I could go and talk to him. Can you not try any promotion or any sales pitch on me? So <laughs> 
it's working so far. And the other gimmick that's working beautifully is to go out to people after I videoed them and said, well, you're on the video today, so come and have a look. So that usually brings them on as well. Whether they join or not, that's left to be seen. Hopefully they will see this here, enjoy the peace and the happiness and the serenity of all of the family and friends and the beautiful comments that are flowing and come and join us on a daily basis because this room for me is God's room. Today we're in the beautiful bay of course Schooner Bay. It's absolutely beautiful down here. And God has blessed us that we could all come together this morning. I know there are a lot of things going on in this world that we have no clue what is happening. So as I am trying to do and every day I, I make sure and try to do it as much as I can and fail many times. But I leave it all in God's hands. Whatever is going to happen, only God can determine that. I have no influence over it. Anything that I can influence is where I pray God to give me the wisdom to know what is for me to deal with and what he's going to take care of. So that is a serenity prayer for me, a prayer that brings peace and happiness to me every day, a prayer that keeps my sanity and a prayer that has helped me through all of my difficult times in my life. It is amazing. But the thing is, you can pray 500 times. If you don't actually hear the words, you don't actually put them into play, nothing is going to happen. You're going to continue the same way in self-will. Self-will is destructive for me. I don't know how it is for you, but for me it's destructive. So I'm going to will my life to God. And so far, since I have done so, God has done nothing but bless me with EMC. Amazing people, loving people, kind people, people that talk to me from God. God will tell them things, they will talk to me, and it comes at the right time to motivate me and inspire me, to let me know that the journey is not just falling on his side, it is actually helping people and helping to heal people as it helps to heal me. Have a great day, everyone. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. I am the Beijing Warrior. This is the EMC gatherings, the beauty of Barbados through my eyes. And today we are blessed to have on board with us our crew, which is our care team, our Munch Kings, and our Hall of Famers, and each and every one of you. Have a great day, and I'm not letting let this vlog end looking at me. I know I'm beautiful, but I'm not letting it end at me. I'm gonna let you see something even more beautiful. <laughs> have a great day. And this will be your photo hop to say goodbye. Have a wonderful time. Be safe. Be kind, be loving, but remember to be kind and to be loving, you have to be kind and loving to yourself first. If not, there's no way in this world that you can share it with anyone. Have a safe day, everyone. Love you all.